Yeah, is the Last of Us Part Three details leak? So these are apparently what's gonna happen within the Last of Us Part Three, uh, as they are looking to start filming soon. Uh, but it looks like that we are going to follow a new group of scavengers, a group of five, uh, and they all have their own names. I'm not gonna list them out for you, but they're between the ages of 18 to 25. And Ellie will once again return. She'll have a similar role as she did within The Last of Us Part 2. And I'm just going to assume that they're going to split the groups again and sort of we're going to meet within the middle and something's going to happen. Um, that's my best guess, uh, but I'm sure that Neil Druckmann has some big genius idea that he's going to sort of maybe change it around, maybe have a switch between the E2 a lot more often. Uh, maybe we'll actually fall in love with these scavengers and actually, you know, be invested with them because that was a huge complaint with people that played part two where it was like, we don't give a fuck about Abby. You know, she did X thing and, you know, we don't like her, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, I think that The Last of Us as a series has always been about what is actually right and what's actually wrong. And, you know, everyone sort of follows within this gray area within the series and the e franchise. You know, no one actually does anything that's 100% right and no one does anything that's 100% wrong either. You know, you can always argue for one side or the other which you know was a very interesting conversation when the hbo show ended when fucking joel killed all those people in the hospital it was like oh shit uh he was the good guy right like shit <laughs> yeah it's uh you know it's gonna be interesting you know i know the series is like some people don't want to continue some people want new characters at this point or just like you know night to just make a new ip and move on mm-hmm. but um you know, I guess they're not done with the series just yet. You know, they got to make like at least four games until they're done. That's usually <laughs> what they do. Uh, we still need their, the Last of Us Kart Racer, you know, so we're still missing <laughs> that. But um, yeah, in all seriousness, you know, I still haven't played Last of Us Part 2 just yet. You know, I'm kind of kind of waiting if there are like, I don't know. I, there was rumored there was supposed to be like a PS5 edition with some new stuff. And I don't want to like start playing through it. And then they start doing that. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, whatever. I'll just wait <laughs> at this point. Um but yeah, uh, I, you know, I'm interested to see how it goes because I know Last of Us Two is very controversial with yes. a lot of story decisions and stuff, and you know, a bunch of other reasons. So um, it's gonna be interesting how Naughty Dog sort of approaches those criticisms if they care at all. Like it seems like they don't care as much. Like they say, we're just gonna keep doing what we do, and you know, I mean, if they want to stick to their guns, they're gonna stick to their guns because you know, mm-hmm. Naughty Dog sort of the pioneer of this really cinematic, like sort of like movie game i guess as people like to call them you know more like yeah. just you go through a thing you have fun you do the set pieces and stuff uh I, I, I didn't like invent it but like they're definitely the ones that like modernized it and made it like really popular um so yeah it's it's gonna be interesting to see how last of us 3 sort of addresses those criticisms or just don't at all <laughs> so yeah i guess we'll see um because um you know my dog i think has always been such a golden child for like gaming and last of us 2 was such a big like divider to, to a lot of you know a lot of people like oh Naughty mm-hmm. Dog doesn't have it anymore or you know what's going on here so um you know I yeah. guess I, I guess we'll see because god that was such a fucking mess to go through that <laughs> that discourse I, I didn't even play the fucking series at that point I was just like damn man it's, it's just such a toxic <laughs> environment it was so bad so not looking forward to that again but uh you know if you love Last of Us then yeah you, we got more on the way <laughs> yeah I mean when you just have so many people that are following this series just because of Joel and Ellie and because they're so likable and they're so you know good characters to just watch and see what they do and then you know part two comes out which was like a lot of people's most anticipated game of that year especially since it was 2020 you know when like everything was shut down and this was like their one thing that was like you know probably gonna save them from like going insane and then you know some people lost it all and they fucking went online and you know they were having rants and everything like that but you know all things considered you know the last of us part two was successful enough to you know spawn the hbo series and for them to uh even remaster the last of us part one again so you know this franchise has made them so much money it would hard it would be dumb for them to let go of it right now especially since because some people actually do want a part three you know i'm one of those people that are like you can end it with part two not because of like the decisions that was made within part two but because i felt like the story ended you know i felt like that that was like a solid conclusion i mean i felt the same way with uh uncharted 3 and then we got uncharted 4 and that was a fucking banger so maybe i could be wrong here maybe no Druckmann has a better ending for ellie and her character within part three and you know whatever happens happens but you know if these if these uh sort of leaks are true then i'm all for it but you know like <laughs> as always we'll just have to wait and see uh give me jack and daxter four thank you uh, <laughs> yeah it's okay i know that won't happen all right so more-